We are now proceeding with plaster of Paris immobilization of the lower extremity. For the frontline health worker, we're not expecting you to be able to do definitive management, but splinting is very important before you transfer the patient. If they have a fractured tibia, fibula, ankle, even knee, then we need to immobilize from the ankle to the thigh. We won't use roller bandages this time. We're going to use a cotton bandage. And we measure that on the patient again. So we have plaster of Paris coming next. So we have a very thick cotton bandage. We are now going to take Plaster of Paris and make it into a splint. This is a very quick procedure. It's very useful though in preparing the patient for transfer. So we've measured the length needed with the cotton. We're taking the plaster of Paris, getting it out to length. The extremity needs more plaster, the lower extremity. So we'll use two rolls here. We overlap them a little bit. Now we need the water. Again, we just put it in the water and we have to squeegee out the excess water. Might be a little bit too wet still. Okay, the water can go out of the way. And we put the splint right on the padding. Now, I'll need your assistance in holding it in place. Just come around on that side. We hold it underneath the extremity. Make sure it goes from just above the knee to the foot. Can you put your hand there, please? Then we just take gauze bandages and we wrap it in place. So simultaneously we're putting on the padding and the plaster splint. It's safe because there's lots of padding. The patient will be more comfortable because their fracture is immobilized. They will have less bleeding as they're in transit for their definitive care, which will not be happening at the health center, but you as a frontline health worker doing your basic orthopedics have done your job by splinting and making the patient comfortable. The cotton sticking out looks a little bit ugly. We can get rid of that. It's a little bit long here. You want to leave the toes exposed so that you can make sure the circulation is good. And you need to support 
the limb until the plaster dries. So here we have plaster of Paris immobilization of the lower extremity can be used for multiple reasons and the patient will be able to be transferred safely and comfortably. We're now going to go to a lower extremity cylindrical cast. This would again be used for fractures that are undisplaced or minimally displaced or fractures that you think will heal without transfer. When you have major trauma and you need to transfer the back slab, which we showed you earlier, is the process. As in all casting, you look at the extremity to make sure there are no wounds on the skin and you must protect the skin. We're going to demonstrate stockinette. You actually can use stockinette on the upper extremity as well. So you just cover the extremity with a stocking. So we now have the stockinette in place. Now this actually provides minimal padding. And we want to, when you're putting on the lower extremity, you want to make sure that the foot is up because if it's down too much, it's really hard for them to mobilize with a, with a, uh, on, on crutches because the foot will get in the way. Now we pad the entire extremity. So again, yeah, if you could come around here and just hold it. And then just move your, you can see I'm trying to make sure there's no wrinkles because the wrinkles can be actually uncomfortable. Now this is not sufficient padding. This was sufficient padding for the upper extremity, but we have to cover a lot more territory with the lower extremity. So let's just put on at least one more roll. We might have to put on two more rolls. And we just bend the knee a little bit and put the foot up. So that way, when the patient is ambulating on crutches, their foot doesn't drag on the ground. Now I'm a little concerned there's a wrinkle there, so I'll just pull that out of the way. And I want to make sure that there's enough padding. So I'm going to proceed with a bit more. I'm going to, can you just lift the leg up a bit? I'm going to put a bit extra on the heel. Because any bony prominence can become ulcerated if it's not well padded. Foot up, please. A little bend in the knee. Now for the lower extremity, I'm going to use six inch plaster rather than the four inch plaster that I used for the upper extremity. Again, like in the lower extremity, I don't want to lay the plaster on tightly. We just roll it on. We don't pull it on. So we have to make sure there's enough water. Squeeze the water out. Yes, if you can lift up her leg, please. And just come down here. I see some holes there and just rubbing it to make sure that there's plaster filling all the little um, 
cells within the gauze of the plaster bandage. Now we have a, at this point, we have a below knee cylindrical cast. And that might be sufficient if you were just dealing with a problem at the ankle level. But if you've got a problem in the tibia and the fibula, you need to continue. So we will take another roll and extend this cast from the lower to the above knee situation. So we have to start well down on where we had plastered before and we keep going up. Keep it off the table until it's dry. Now we can make it look a little bit neater by pulling the stockinette down. So we can make it higher or lower depending on how much immobilization you want to have. You'll remember I discussed how much plaster you put on depending on what you would expect the behavior of the patient to be. Here we have a youngish woman and so we don't expect her to be that vigorous and that problematic and we expect that she probably will follow instructions. Well, you can just put it here. If you had a teenage boy you would probably add one more level of plaster to make it harder and tougher. So here we have a cylindrical cast and you actually do put it on your chest there to make sure the positioning is good. Congratulations, you finished the orthopedic module, the basic orthopedic module. If you did the Moodle part, you did quizzes and case studies. If you just looked at the videos or did the Moodle part two, you did videos on equipment, slings, plaster of Paris splints, which you apply for transfer, and plaster of Paris cylinder casts, which you use for local treatment. With this set of skills, you can take care of your patients at the health center. Thank you for watching and please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and be sure to subscribe and like us on YouTube. If you would like more information about CNIS or on how to become our member, please go to www.cnis.ca.